that is one of the areas that oftentimes gets pointed at to say, look, if we can, if we could take this keyboard and make it a thing of the past, especially in the patient room and make it more intuitive, potentially put some computer vision in that room that sees something as opposed to the clinician actually having to type it in at the worst or even say it, that it can actually see it and understand it and do it. Those kinds of projects are interesting to me, but it feels to me like access to those tools is really going up. We used to not be able to roll this out to every clinician because it was too expensive. And now we seem to be making these more accessible and more affordable. Yeah, I completely agree. So here's an interesting and maybe controversial question for you. Is there a need for a CIO going forward? And so let me answer it in the following way. What I have found is right in 96, when I became a CIO, I was the CISO, the chief digital officer, the CMIO, and all the rest. What I'm starting to see in organizations is that role of a traditional CIO of infrastructure, applications, provision, keep lights on, respond to security concerns. A lot of it is being moved to the cloud or moved to providers where it's more now uh, OpEx, not CapEx. And the role of the CIO is being divided into multiple specialists who are focusing on different areas of this. And so what that means is it used to be 18 months to do a procurement. Now you can turn on a function in an afternoon. It's a cloud provided function. It may very well be part of your EHR, or it may be something that is adjunctive to your EHR, a smart on fire app. And you can roll this stuff out with a lot less cost and a lot less lead time. And and so I think it's a different kind of thinking. And the role of the CIO, as we traditionally know it, has probably come to an end. Has come to an end? Wow, that's bold. 